Hello everyone, I'm back again with my Down the Garden Path stitchery. Um, this is what I've done so far in my little vegetable garden. You saw the little wheelbarrow. I've put a carrot and a, I guess, a radish or whatever. I, I've decided my vegetables will be whatever you think they look like. <laughs> um, to me it's carrot, it is silver beet or spinach, um, lettuces, these ones I guess they could be radish because I think a radish has a shorter leaf than a beetroot, um, so maybe they're radish. And I just want to do a few cauliflower over here um, and then that will be it for my vegetables. Oh and I've got to put some little cherry tomatoes or something tomatoes on my little vine that I've stitched there. I've got uh, I've done that in a like a um, stem stitch with little lazy daisy leaves on it. Uh, the lettuces are just bullion stitches. The carrots are just three little straight stitches and turkey work for the top. The uh, silver beet is just a a bit of ribbon embroidery with a little bit of stem stitch well actually it's not even stem stitch it's just straight stitches going through it and uh, these little radishes are just a, a couple of little straight stitches and just a simple um, bit of ribbon embroidery just in out basically for those the cauliflower I want to do, I actually saw on Instagram, I thought they were so sweet. The lady is Doll's House Vintage. It's just a, a matter of doing some French knots. She did tight French knots in the center for the cauliflower and loose ones around the edge by the look of it. That's from what I can see, that's what she's done. Um, and so that's what I thought I would do now. Cauliflower has quite dark leaves, doesn't it? almost a silvery, like a blue-green. I don't think we'll use teal though, I think that might look a bit odd. So we're going to stick with the greens. I'm just try and find the best colour green for it that I haven't already used too much of. There's that one, which is a bit of a tangled mess. I haven't used that one. Maybe I could use some of that one. Okay, it needs organizing a little bit better anyway, so I'll get that one out. And white. Um, it's not pure white really, is it? It's more of a creamy, oh no, that's too cream. Okay, so we'll just go for white. Well, I just unraveled one. We'll go for white. That will be all right. Um, no, oh, that one's a bit too pure white, that one. I need to organise my threads. Is that... See, that one's more of a grey white, isn't it? See the difference there? I don't really want a grey, so we'll put that one away. And stick with those. So, uh, I'm trying to think whether it'd be best to do the... Probably best to do the outside first and then the inside. That one's almost gone. Don't want that. Okay, let's get a bit of thread. Find the end. Oh, look, there's already one there. Is that the same one though? No, that one looks more like that one over there. They're very similar. Here we go. I got the end. I hope you've all been keeping well. Um, it's still quite hot here. Today's a hot day. So I stayed home today. I normally go out and go to my mother's today, but it's it's really hot when you're out and about in and out all the time. So um, and she agrees with that, so that's fine. I've just staying home Sunday morning, which is nice. Because my son's home, my husband's home. It's nice now. Uh, 
I will split the thread and I actually, who was it I was watching? Oh, we're very close, aren't we? Let's get up a bit further than that for a moment. Let's move that up. I was watching, I think it was Susanna and she was showing how to split the thread like this. Make sure I've got three. Um, I hadn't seen that before. She said Sarah does it like that. I just, I haven't seen that before. So that was quite interesting to do it like that. And it does work quite well. It's nice when you find new ways of doing things, isn't it? There we go. So just some loose Nice loose. Look how bent my needle's getting. <laughs> I do this. There we go. Because we get a favourite needle and we use it and we use it and we use it. Um, I've done a couple of other things on here as well. I'll show you that once I attempt one of these little cauliflowers and see how I like it. Okay, we've got our thread here. Um... I think I'll just go one, two, three, like that into a triangle. So we'll, we'll start up here, shall we? And they were very loopy by the look of it. And I think that's what she did. It looked like it. So I want to leave it quite loopy. Um, perhaps, yeah, like that. It's just a French knot without pulling it too tight. Uh, could be even loopier than that. So I'll try again. Do you see, we're getting a bit of loopiness there. That might be a bit, I don't want it too big, I guess. I mean, they might not have been loopy French knots. She could have just done little loops. I'm just going by what I thought it looked like. So, let's try one before we do the rest. This is, 
Oh, it's already three strand, okay. I've enjoyed doing the little vegetable garden and it's probably not as elaborate as, you know, some that I've seen on Instagram, um, but I do like it. Okay, so I'm just coming up in the center of this little gathering of loopy knots and doing some French knots. And then we do these tighter like that. And hopefully it will end up looking like a cauliflower. I'm only doing vegetables in my garden that I actually enjoy eating. <laughs> And you need a couple of cauliflowers because they do take up a bit of room, don't they? They're not size correct, my vegetables. <laughs> oh, got monster carrots. So I'll finish filling that in with some little French knots and then I'll come back and show you. There we go. I'm only doing two. They turned out a little bit bigger. Um, so I'll just leave it at two. I did put a little one in the wheelbarrow as well. So that one has been done now. Um, let me show you. I don't know how they look up close. Let's hope they look all right. That's them, and there's the one in the wheelbarrow there. I drew in my rake, and it can either be a shovel or a garden hoe. It depends what it looks like when it come, it, it's stitched. I did start doing a few little tufts of grass around the place as well. Uh, what I've been doing with the off-cut, you know, the end bits of the threads that I've been using is just... Um, you know putting more tufts of grass in. I've done a little bit of turkey work here just to make it loose. I've added a few little flowers and when I was using this red burgundy color I decided to put a couple of little flowers around in that color as well. Some more turkey work. Um, I drew in my future tree that I'm going to have there. Um, more little red and yellow flowers around the base of the tree there. I did stitch my cottage door. I took the window off. <laughs> Somebody in the comments said it looked like the TARDIS. I thought exactly the same thing when I saw it on video. I didn't see it when I was stitching it, but when I saw it back on video, I thought that looks like the TARDIS. I wonder if anybody else notices. Someone did. So I took the window off the door and I Think it looks more like a door now so I've just done blanket stitch all around the door and all around the side of the cottage there and then I've just done an over stitch a rough over stitch of the steps there I did put a little bit of brown paint on this section here just to make it look a bit uh, darker I added in some more greenery um, I made it a little bit darker here as well. I'd already started making it darker here. Did a little, a few little green stitches and things around there. So it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, and now my vegetable garden is just about done. I just need to do my rake and my hoe or shovel. So I think I will need a brown colour for that. Let's see what we've got. I don't want to really use the same color as I did for the 
Oh, that's the same. Okay, I don't have a lot of browns, I don't think. Just let me see what I've got. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on, what's that? Is that different? Not really. But I do have this colour. That might be alright. That might be alright. I'll use that one. That makes it a little bit different, doesn't it? Oh, I've also got, I don't know if there's any browns in there. This one here, it's got some browns in there as well. But actually, I quite like that, so I think I'll go with, it looks a bit more weathered, doesn't it? It's weathered tools. And I may just leave it as the six strand. Um, I'm getting excited um, to find out what the next prompt will be now. So I'm just going to do a long stitch and I noticed I was watching Sarah and Rachel's um, video and they did the long stitch for their little um, tomato trellis and it seemed to work well and I thought hmm maybe I should have done that but we'll, we'll see see we'll do it on this we'll have to couch it down where they overlap I think though So it doesn't, it's not too gapy, and I've used my friction pen again on that. Yeah, so I will do is I will bring it up there and I'm going to have to do a little couch over there and I, it will probably be noticeable but it's not too bad just to hold them in position well, that's not too bad at all um, like that And then I might do just a little one. Well, actually, what I might do is um, uh, I might do some small straight stitches here. And that first one will couch that stick on. Like that. I'll do that. Um, Okay, it's getting there. So I'll 
I'll do some straight stitches across like that and I'll also do some up for the rake like that but I'm thinking I might because it's six strands I might just use the three strands for the little teeth on the rake so I'll do that and then I'll be back Alright that's done and obviously my gardener is not very safety conscious because everything is sticking up. Um, <laughs> oh my. Um, with the thread I'm just going to add a few more bits of foliage around. I might just um, Maybe I'll do some large daisy stitches and see what that looks like. That could work, hey? Just something a bit different. With those of that, with that one. Just to use up that little bit of thread there. I don't really want everything looking the same, like every blade of grass the same, it's, you know, got to have a little bit of variety, I guess. And as with the vegetables, the flowers are exactly what you want them to, whatever you think they look like, that's what they are. I'm leaving it up to the imagination. <laughs> okay. I could probably sneak another one in here, perhaps a little one. It's quite a long needle, so it's um, I might need to change the needle, I think, to do this. Although that's not much shorter, is it? That isn't at all. Oh. Let me find one. Alright, so that's all done and my little garden arch will go there at some stage like that. I need to stitch this lace down. I almost thought of taking it off and then realised I couldn't because I've done the uh, ribbon work across it. <laughs> so, but that's okay. I'm, I'll just, I'll probably just couch that down. Properly. It's only got invisible stitching behind it at the moment. I will probably, uh, I still have, I have this green here. I'll go around and add some more greenery um, in places. I did uh, invisible stitch that down so I don't lose it. Uh, what else did I do? I've shown you all that, haven't I? Oh, and I just used wool and I did a French knot for the doorknob and just a couple of, you know, stitches for the little hinge on that. So uh, I'm still undecided about the roof line or the greenery or whatever I put on there. So there we go. That's, um, I don't know what part it is. Oops, I forgot to do my tomatoes. So I've put them in now. I've just done some uh, colonial knots for my tomatoes. I've put them there and I put a couple in the wheelbarrow as well. As for these little brown daisy stitches, I think I'm going to take them out. I don't like them there. Um, and that's quite easy for me to do. I can just snip them. Probably use a sharper pair of scissors and pull them out from the back and that will be fine. 
I don't know, it's just they just don't sit well with me. So I'll just take them out. Isn't it as easy as that? Just a little bit there I need to snip and that's fine, yes I prefer it in the greens rather than that tone there. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my little vegetable garden. Um, I really did enjoy making it so looking forward to the next instalment and seeing what the next prompt is. So take care everybody. Bye.